It's moving on to the other big story that is coming in from Karnataka now. There's a furor over temple demolition row in Karnataka. Opposition Congress and BHP are up in arms against Bomai government for raising a temple in Mysuru. After the uproar, Chief Minister Bomai halted the demolition of religious structures that had started after the Supreme Court's order to raise illegal religious structures in the state. Take a look. Mysuru's Nanjanagudu temple being raised to the ground. The demolition that followed a Supreme Court order against illegal structures has sparked a political war in Karnataka. The Congress has hit out at the BJP government in the state, claiming the temple is an ancient monument. This BJP MP, if it was the Congress government, how would he have behaved? What about all the other BJP workers, RSS members? Why are they all suddenly quiet today? The state authorities have rejected Congress charges. They claim the temple was only 12 years old and did not feature in the Archaeological Survey of India's map. The opposition uproar, however, has forced CM Basavaraj Bombay to order a halt to the demolition drive. <laughs> ODDS <laughs> There is anger within the Sangh Parivar over the Mysuru temple demolition. The Vishwa Hindu Parishad held street protests against the government's drive. The feud started with the Supreme Court's direction to the Karnataka government to remove illegal religious structures. Karnataka's State Chief Secretary wrote to Deputy Commissioners on July 1st, stating that Karnataka has 6,395 unauthorized religious structures in public places. A big jump from 5,688 on September 29, 2009. In 12 years, the state government was able to demolish, relocate or regulate only 2,887 structures. The state chief secretary had directed officials to demolish at least one illegal structure per division. The BJP, which is often accused of playing temple politics, finds the tables turned this time. While it may have temporarily salvaged the situation, the Bombay government will have to look for ways to execute the Supreme Court order. With Nagarjun Dwarkanath in Bengaluru, Bureau Report, India Today.